How does he play this one? They're not expecting him on the site. This is so awkward for Snappy. Now they finally realize it, but he gets the first tap. It's so close to the second. Lackey trying to run him down, but Snappy, what a lifeline that could be for Falcon. Yeah, I'm so glad it's a, a close, entertaining matchup between these two. It's what exactly I wanted. Awesome Pius in a position which you can so often get cheeky kills from. They'll be removed by Kenzie again. He's been so insane in this game. Dupree and Magisk, they will try and answer back. Magisk, so reliable in these anchor positions. Three kills. And Falcons are about to even up at 11 rounds apiece if Kenzie can't do the impossible. Oh, hello. Aggression. Hang on a moment. We're right in with this one for Falcons, and Norway doesn't realize they could be so far forward. Just drops down from the C roof there. Oh. The battle back from Aurora wasn't bad, but Dupree's doing it again. He wins so many of these duels, but it's down to wrestle. Two headshots, and he knows where some Pius is. Is he trying to jump across the angle? Oh, it's so tight. Now he realizes it. Oh, his cross -head placement was almost spot on, oh. but some Pius saves the Falcon's blushes. You can see the frustration there from Ressalt as well. He knows I should have just waited for the smoke to bloom. I had the correct read. I knew he was outside. Yeah, it, and again, I'm going to reiterate your point. It's so painful to see like the last two or three buys of this map for PA all being Tech 9s and Mac 10s. I mean, this one's going to get absolutely chewed up by Madden. Goodness gracious me. He's even going to try and switch to the Mac 10 to go finish on, it off for his ace. There we go. Hey, Madden. <laughs> Nothing much has been easy for Falcons as of late, but that certainly was. Madden might try to fly up the vent to join up with Snappy. Or maybe even escort him down, perhaps, for a bomb plant. One of the two. There we go, actually. That's a drop of the bomb over toward Madden, who was in, the, in that vent area. Through the CT smoke, by the way. Yeah, through that smoke. And they're actually going to get a plant on B because of that. That's a nice little call from Falcons to confirm the plant. And uh-oh, no surely not. No, no, no. We're all good. It's not no. going to happen. Snappy no. and Madden, no chance of winning this two versus three out. Snappy is going to be snaking his way towards ramp very late in the round. Oh, Wait, my goodness. What? He catches a glimpse of... The player, and he will get the kill eventually. Madden's gotten a frag in the meantime. Snappy tapping oh. away. Can't finish off the frag on Wolfie. And that means Wolfie's going to depart the scene. Diffuse no kit. Been tapped. No kit, you're right. This is a disaster of the highest order right now. The Diffuse has to be stuck. He's out in the open. Oh my god, Falcons have robbed party astronauts blind. I have no words. How have they just snatched defeat from the jaws of victory? And the two M's marry together to recover the round. Really important kill from Infinite. That's a great catch. Now, Magisk, what can he do? Low HP, should find it, does find it. It's now very, very winnable. Fang has got the AWP picked up. I'm not sure if he's got a rifle to switch back to. I mean, he could drop the AWP out just towards Secret, pick up a rifle in transition. He was really hoping that Magisk would try and head down Secret, but Fang's going to hold on to the AWP for the one versus one, and Magisk has such a good read on where he's going to be coming through from as well. Full confidence right now. It's the perfect off angle for Magisk as well, especially against an AWP. Fang's going to have to hard clear, it, clear this and hit it instantly. Magisk, all the experience in the world. Once again, all that incendiary, that Molotov, it's not going to spread. Oh, it's not going to spread. That's so frustrating for Fang, and he's not going to clear it properly. Magisk <laughs> breathes a sigh of relief, as you can see on the oh, player cam. Man. That's a painful one for Fang. It's happened again. But they know they the have presence though, because down now that B. they have that information, it means that they can make a move in towards this B bomb site. And as for Falcons, I mean, it doesn't even look like they're in a position to consider the retake. It is MR3 12K, so it makes sense to just have a crack at it. But uh, it feels like they may just call it a day, dropping Ooh. down into the vent. Okay, San Pius drops Ben lead six foot under, and that will get things in motion. They only have one kit between the three of them. That's on Magisk, so they're going to have to keep an eye on that as they start to surge their way forward, hunting for these kills. They've got a little bit of util. Dupree's got a smoke. That's going to go onto the bomb here as well, but party astronauts are giving nothing. And these are perfect angles, you would think, for Sixy, but he commits to it a bit too long. It's down to Wolfie and Fang. First comes through, but there are still two more to find. Great second from Wolfie, and some Pius is stuck. No scope, close range, but he has to find Fang, and Fang is playing time. There's no way some Pius wins this round without a kit picked up, and Pierre found the way again. Oh my goodness, they've been able to get themselves the lead. The first round here in overtime goes the way of the North Americans. That MP9 is gone, though. And Dupree is going to try and pounce on this timing. He's got two low HP players right in front of him. 
And this could be Dupree again for Falcons. Opens the door, takes one, and plays time. Ten seconds on the clock. Ents have need to somehow pick up that bomb and plant it safe. But I'm not sure Dupree is going to let them go for it. He's going to continue to fake it, actually. He's waiting for Magisk. I thought he might just pounce there and take the opportunity because Magisk is so, so far away. Oh, so far, man. Eventually, he will be able to join up here with Dupree, but he's shift walking as he gets closer. And now they will try and change up the direction with which they're going to retake in towards us. The bomb side body able to get one. And now it's only the low HP SDY. Dupree looking to try to do it all here. He's gotten two kills in the round already. And he does expect SDY to be playing around the silo. Great stuff coming through from Dupree as Falcons pick up the force buy. A few seconds. And that is a little change up the Falcons have clearly put into place. Snappy is the more of the rotator from ramp. The hell player more than the back ramp player, but Madden Ooh, Ooh, brave. goes for a reload. Brave indeed, but gets away with it. And now five versus three, and starting to flag. And Magisk will get another important anchor kill. They know where Goofy is. He is so very oh. stuck. He may take Snappy, but now nailing down to five HP, and he'll get removed by Madden. It's once again, though, a top fragging performance from Dupree. And Magisk, that instant tap on the Tetris player was Yum. dirty. Those are the most satisfying in CS2, without a doubt. Also looking to take the bait away from Stun Pius with the Julies. Not a great set of pistols to have, considering they're playing against the Force, but eh, he's still been able to find himself a double kill. Two pistols, two kills. It's only SDY left remaining. Unfortunately for Enz, the rug has been pulled from underneath them, and they've just been steamrolled on their Force buy. Oh, well, this is a start from Falcons. But he kept on Goofy as he's full health. They got that one flash available, and... I'm trying to build this up, but I think most people watching know the answer to this round that should be coming through, and especially if they go into Magisk. He may be stuck between two angles, but he's got Dupree support. It's the two legends who will team up to deal with those pistols. So I believe that is 4-5-4 four, four in Players Alive. They just need to give themselves a little bit of a framework. This one's going to be B, with the flashes being lined up from Grim. They're just going to try and overwhelm these players. There's that opening kill. JT on Dupree, and Floppy follows up. The flashbangs are sublime, and although some Pius finds one, he nearly burns alive. Yeah, the Molliver will follow up from Grim after he throws the flashes again. Utility this time on the other side, doing all the work. So three on three, though, as some Pius gets a second off the back of a HG. And Madden, he's edging forward, Sampai is ready for Grimm. He is doing everything without even needing to look into the site. And they're just diffusing, they're just diffusing in the smoke, but Floppy denies it. And he gets the follow-up as well. So it's all in the Sampai's. This round has been entirely his in a very unexpected position. This kill is going to be his 100%, a tap on the bomb. We saw some clutch to the tournament earlier, but this one would be the cherry on top. Sunpai, yes, then does he have time with a kiss? He does. An ace for Sunpai. And that is unbelievable. Snappy doesn't want anything to do with it. And JT tries to get that lurk. But now you know the locations, and he walks straight into Dupree and Magist. And between the two of them, they've held on to this site. So Floppy needs to continue, needs to do it all for his team. Snappy is still present, still going to be flanking, still pushing up from behind. Floppy, oh, it's messy. He stays alive. Snappy gets away. And time is just not there for Floppy. They're just stuck in their ways there, Complexity. I know that there's that third guy over at a ramp, but you could just reset. Everyone could be brought over here. Oh, that's Floppy after died after time, so now he's got no money.